welcome everyone back to my channel. Today, as you guessed, and by the name, I am building floating shelves in the garage, reclaiming, reowning my garage. It was a state. I am reclaiming the garage, taking back all the floor space, and I'm just going to build shelves and get it all off the floor. So much space. This room is going to be a games room slash workout center and some projects make it done in the garage. So first things first, guys, right here in front of me, I have panels from the previous shelf that was here. If you look at the floor right here, there was a shelf that went from the wall right over to where the floor isn't painted. So I am reusing as much of that wood that I can. And right here as well, went to the store today and got a bunch of two by twos, which is basically going to be my mounting brackets for the floating shelves. Let's get started. So guys, right here I've made a little mark because this is where my mounting gear, the two by twos are gonna go. I've got one right here, one right here, and I'm going to put one right here. That's the marking for all the way along. There we go. What I'm going to do now, guys, is find where the studs are. So I've already found two. Here we go. I am going to move along until my machine lets me know that I found a stud. edge so there's the edge and it even says on this machine it was the edge so I just want to move over just a pinch from there and I'm going to mark it right there and guys what I'm going to do right here is double check just to show you how accurate this is and I am directly below where I marked the stud so I'm just going to continue on the whole length of the wall and find my studs. So guys, my next step is, I don't know, some of you may say it's necessary, I believe, or unnecessary, but I like to, where this is only a two by two, I don't want it to crack. So I'm going to pre-drill holes. So now I need my screws, guys. Check out this pack out. I'm gonna post that video right here, the Milwaukee pack out. So my screws, all these little compartments, guys, check it out. It is amazing and different sizes. You can just take it out and sit it right here, right where I need it. Gotta like it. So guys, what I'm gonna do right now is just preset Because the reason why I'm presetting all of these screws is because from working overhead, it's a little frustrating and uh, definitely much easier this way. Wow, that over the head work, that's for the dogs. Well, I'm glad that part is done. Now my next step is going to be 18 inches, which is the height of this support. I need to make some of those. So now I already measured guys, I need 19 and a half inches and I've already done three. So, first of all, I need to measure 19 and a half would be right about here. Not sure if you noticed Milwaukee and what they carry, but I did notice that they have a work table and with everything in a mess in here right now, not a whole lot of space, but I think it would come in handy anyway. Gonna have to look into that. So the idea, I'm going to put five of these supports up and then I'm going to take two by twos and bring them along here 
And then I'm going to put recycle, reuse the shelving that I tore apart earlier. There we go. I like it. That's going to be perfect for there. It's going to be great to get those bins off the floor. Let's get to it. Here goes my shelves. And shimmy you're over. There we go. I like it. Perfect fit. Well, not the lightest one. I'm going to give it a go. Do you guys see that? Beauty. I went today and I got 12 of these. I absolutely love it. How awesome is that? Everything off the floor and all around these walls, guys. Everywhere, all around the walls is empty space that we don't use. So definitely a great idea to do it this way. There's already four up there and I'm going to do it all the way around. I'm going to do it all the way around, get everything that you just saw. I'm going to get it all up there in bins. So I'll show you the finished product in just a second. What do you guys think? Wow, I think it absolutely looks great. I want to let you guys know as well, I did the math. Guys, this is 90 square feet of storage that got lifted off the floor. Look at the space in here now. You saw at the beginning of the videos the before in this garage. It is amazing. I absolutely love it. 90 square feet. And not only that, that totals 30% of this garage. I took back 30% of the floor space. I absolutely love it. And one thing I have to tell you, which is probably the most amazing thing you saw in the beginning, hopefully you did, that the wood that I use in under here is actually wood that I reused from the shelves that was right behind me here, guys. So it literally cost me $70 to build this and using the wood, add extra paint sitting around and I'm sure pretty much every one of you do. So guys, this costs $70 to get all this off the floor. These totes that are all up here, guys, I got for $10.99, I believe it was, and I got 24 and they're amazing. And I wanted a different color. I didn't want the normal average green or blue that everybody, got, everybody buys, but as you know, I like red. So I went with the red bins. Love it, love it, love it. All right, there you have it. This is the finished product. And I know you're probably wondering why I'm on this chair the whole time. Well, click that subscribe because in the next video, I'm gonna show you guys, this has been completely done, the garage, even the floor, hence why I'm on this chair right now. So that's it for today, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.